The cetacean assassin, the sperm whale. practically ran on sperm whale oil. Hey everybody, how you doing? Jeff here. Got a guide on how to become just an unkillable, absolute monster of a shark in Maneater. Not to mention, uh, about the prettiest fish in the sea. Just kidding, you're pretty grotesque looking, honestly, but you're extremely powerful, so who cares? All right, so how did I take down that level 60 apex sperm whale? Basically like it was nothing, just destroyed it. Well, let's check it out. So out of all the body parts, I prefer uh, the shadow teeth and bone, everything else. Organs, I got reinforced cartilage, hardy, and brutal muscles. So where do you find all these? Well, it's pretty straightforward, actually. Every shadow body part is from finding landmarks in an area. And the bone pieces are from all of the apex predators in an area. And it's real easy to see what you need and where it is. If you go to your journal here, it will actually show you exactly which rewards you can get. Like for instance, this catfish fever one, it shows rewards down there of those resources you'll get. But you can find specific ones, like there, the cradle to the cave gives you advanced sonar. Scroll down some more, and here you go, killer queen. Kill the apex in caviar key, and you get the bone head. Scroll down some more, there's bone fins from the apex in Golden Shores. From the Ooh Barracudas in Dead Horse Lake, kill that apex for the bone teeth. Bone body, the apex in Sapphire Bay. And then the bone tail, uh, again the apex, this time in Prosperity Sands. So it's pretty straightforward to find all the pieces. They're always in the same place kill the apexes for the bone pieces. Now the shadow stuff, like I said, is from landmarks. So the main one I like is just the teeth. You get that from the Dead Horse Lake landmarks. And you know, those are pretty simple in general. You just swim around, use your sonar, and you can find them pretty easily. Some of them you may have to wait until you get bigger, until you can jump out of the water higher. Some are in tricky spots occasionally, uh, but for the most part they're pretty straightforward. And you're going to want to hunt everything down anyway because it's really easy experience to level up landmarks and license plates and so that's what I go for and uh, the bone teeth are good don't get me wrong like especially if you want to take down boats even quicker you can switch to bone teeth for that huge boat bonus if you're hunting bounties but the health steal on shadow is absolutely amazing and, you know, 30% bite damage doesn't hurt either. So that's why I go for that. Because really with the bone set, uh, you get a big boat damage bonus anyway. Especially if you use the special skill Bone Crusher. Uh, you'll just destroy all the bounty hunters, all the boats, and take them out like nothing. What I like about the bone set so much is all the damage resistance. So uh, if you look at the set itself... Uh, that one right there, the head is all about boat damage and the crew damage. It also gives 15% damage resistance. The bone fins, again, passively, 15% damage resistance. And if you evade, you get even 
extra damage resistance. Uh, the body gives you that skill that, again, gives you more damage resistance and that ramming damage to just tear through boats. The tail, passive, again, among other things, 15% damage resistance. So all the damage resistance coupled with the health steal on the shadow teeth, I feel like I'm unkillable. Like you saw me take down that apex sperm whale and it didn't even hardly touch me. I just tore through it. So that's it for the body parts. Now, the organs, I feel like, are kind of up to you. This stuff, you could throw on Hardy for max health, reinforced cartilage for more damage resistance, and I've got brutal muscles on just for extra swim speed. But really, with the health steel from the shadow teeth and the rest of the bone set, you're you're so beefy already, you can mix these out for whatever you need. You know, if you need sonar for hunting down landmarks and license plates go for that if you need to farm a certain resource more mineral throw that on or, or whatever is needed really but for these specific ones that i mentioned uh, i'll show you where to get these so the hardy and the brutal muscles are from bounties as you attack humans, you've built up your threat level more, and eventually bounty hunters start coming after you. And this is actually where you can get the bioelectric set, which I never cared for that much. But right here at Killing the Second Bounty Hunter, you get the hardy. Moving on, and it shows down at the bottom again just the specific rewards that you can get for each one. Work your way up to the tenth one, and there's Brutal Muscles. Now, the final one that I mentioned is for actually all the landmarks in the Gulf. And again, you can check your journal for that. Tap over to your journal, we'll check out the Gulf here. All the way at the bottom, Gulf landmarks. Find all nine landmarks, reinforce cartilage for that extra damage resistance. And as a quick side note here, as I was leveling up, I just went straight for the Tiger body. That's the first thing I leveled up all the way to tier five. That way, the entire rest of the game, I'm getting 25% extra of all the resources, and I don't regret that at all. So I had that on most of the game, and I didn't have any issues upgrading other stuff as I progressed. So uh, if you guys do need help finding any of the landmarks for the body parts or anything else, I do have a guide with full map coverage that just slowly scrolls through all the maps so you can get 100% of everything to unlock all these abilities. And again, it levels you up super fast just swimming around finding stuff. So I highly recommend that. So check out that video. And thanks for watching. Really appreciate your support. Please leave a like, subscribe, and uh, feel free to leave any comments. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.